Dapper J back again, and today we're going to uh, uh, Jackson Lake in Wrightwood area. Um, check this out. All right, this is on the way up to Jackson Lake. These rocks are amazing, man. They're huge. I know how these were, well, I have an idea of how these were made from um, tectonic plates on the wing. Is that crust? I don't know. If you guys know about this, let me know. It's pretty cool. Anyways, yeah. It's right off the road here. If you guys wish to come and explore, there's plenty of trails to go around there. You can actually get on those rocks. I would, but I don't have time. It's about noon, so we're headed to the lake. It's about 20 minutes away from here. 15 minutes. And there's a right there. Alright. See you guys later. Have a day. Oh. Alright. I don't know about you guys, but I would love to live out here. Here we go. Jensen Foods. This is like a little supermarket or something. Alright, here we go. Liquor, meat, deli. Hi, Jasmine. Hi. There you can. There's fruit. You want some fruit? Yeah. Alright. Excuse me. Alright, so. Hi. Hi. That's Jensen's. There's still snow right, right next to us. And it's 70 degrees. That's crazy. Okay, so this is the first time I've seen this sign here at fire restriction. You're not supposed to grill. Every time we come here, we cook. We take out the little grill and cook. Uh-oh. I guess we won't be doing that no more. Alright, so we made it. Normally, we fish that side of the lake over there but it's kind of dried up so we're gonna try this side so it's seven acres of water here of surface area of water I think that shrunk drastically the water used to be way up here way up here not anymore All right. I'm thinking this looks like a good spot right here all right, let's go. All right, what do you guys think? Good spot or no? I think it is. Yep. Pretty beautiful out here. I love it. It's nice to get some fresh air because you, you like smell the fresh air. Yeah, it's nice, huh? Yeah. The air, hits, the air smells different out here. Pretty nice. All right. All right, back again. So we got a little setup here, blanket for Jasmine, chair for me and uh, Trevor's Twins and Games. We got three rods set up. I'm not sure what the limit is on rods. They're not all mine. This one I'm doing for uh, catfish. Just letting the sink on the bottom way out there. It's like close to that side. I cast the heck out of that one. This one I'm going for bluegill. And this baby rod actually it works. <laughs> this little kid rod. I'm going for a uh, bluegill and um, and trout. So hopefully you no know, turtles get snagged on my line. I don't know if you guys watched my previous video a few months ago. I caught turtles. It was crazy. Yeah, let's see. Focus. All right, there we go. Yeah, so hopefully no turtles. Hopefully you catch something. Been out here about an hour. We've been walking around and exploring most of the time. There's still some snow back there. You can't see it from here, but yeah. It's pretty relaxing. All right, see you guys later. So yeah, the only thing we're missing out here is the grill. If I had the grill and some burgers or steaks or something, hot dogs, it would be perfect. Oh well. So I don't know if you can see there, but there's the two bobbers. I'm just going for bluegill right now. I'm not going for uh, trout yet, but you got one, two, and this line here. This is actually a saltwater line, but oh well. We, as, as far as bait, we're using um, worms and 
this yellow stuff looks like corn. Um, we've caught fish here with corn before, so try it again. Ice. Where? Right here. Okay. No, there's no ice right here. Okay, so we got kind of bored of fishing, so there's a spot. So we're gonna go hike a little bit. Get some exercise in. So we climbed the top of this hill here. We started walking all the way over here. Now we're at the end of the lake. We're gonna climb down. Nice little hike. <sighs> nice cool crisp air. Yeah, I like it. I highly recommend. Yeah, me too. <sighs> Alright, so we walked around the whole lake and I found them. I found the freaking fish. carp anyway. I think I scared them off a little bit, but look at these guys. I don't know if you can see them on camera, but geez, there must be a hundred carp right here. I knew they were somewhere because I've been skunked. We've been fishing way over there. It's a good picture by the way. Yeah, we've been fishing way over there. Nothing. But they're all right here. That's freaking awesome. All right, see you guys later. Right there, I think you can see them clearly. The orange things. A ton of them. Okay, well, since our poles are way the heck over there, this is what I've resorted to. I got this piece of branch here, and I found this line. Let's see. This line is hooked with some chicken or something on it. And this weight. And these um these carp have been biting on it, but I think the the hook's too rusty or blunt or I don't know. But they're not well wait a minute. Wait a minute, something's pulling it. Whoa. Oh dang it, I had a bite, I had a bite. Let's see, there he is, there he is. Yeah, I keep getting bites, but uh, they come off quickly. All right, it's starting to get dark. Probably do this for another couple minutes and head back to my original spot. All right, this crap here makes me really, really angry. Not just the uh, litter, but this crap here. I mean, why? 